Hi, friend. I'm so honored to share what the Lord has placed on my heart for you today. God spoke through the prophet Jeremiah to give a word to the Israelites who were exiled in Babylon. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. The requirement in that scripture is when you search for me with all your heart. Well, I discovered a deeper level of intimacy with the Lord at the beginning of last year. My husband, Darius, is a pastor and he challenged our entire congregation to participate in a 21-day fast. We were praying and believing God for breakthrough in our lives, in our church, and in our city. We were truly desperate for a greater capacity to know God, His power, and His divine purposes for our lives. As a matter of fact, Jesus said that some things only come about through prayer and fasting. So following the direction of Jesus, my husband and I chose to do a Daniel fast. I thought and prayed about this fast to prepare myself, and I was a bit anxious. My first day was set aside to just quiet my mind, my heart, and really my whole being. I tried to remove all distractions, no cell phones, no television, no music, no appointments, just God, my Bible, my journal, and me. I recall sitting in a comfy chair facing a large window into our backyard, and I sat still for an extended period of time, probably an hour or so, just observing the beauty of God's creation. The sunshine was peeking through the fluffy clouds and the wind gently blew through the branches of the trees, still sleeping from winter, and the comforting sounds of stillness. I want to tell you, God's presence filled my living room. I could feel physically feel a change in the atmosphere. Tears began to well up in my eyes and roll down my cheeks. I just simply could not even move, nor did I even want to. I felt this incredible sense of God's deep love for me. I felt His total acceptance and His attentiveness to me. All I could do was worship Him and pour out my deep love from that vulnerable, real place of my heart. It was a holy ground experience. That day was so different than others. I didn't want to ask God for anything. I just wanted Him. My fast began with the intent of breakthrough for our church, our city, and our lives. But little did I know that breakthrough would begin with me. That, my friends, is what I'm desperate for, to know Him. As we seek the God of breakthrough, we will find that He will satisfy every longing of your heart, and He will meet every need for you today, tomorrow, and forever. Are you desperate enough to really know God? Not because you want something from Him, because you are desperate to have an intimate relationship with your Father, your Creator, God has always longed for an intimate, trusting relationship with you. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. That's what God wants to do for you. And today, if the Holy Spirit is nudging your heart, I know that He's nudging you to go for God. Go for Him with all of your heart. I want to pray for you today. Father, 
I thank you for your faithfulness, your goodness, and for revealing your true love to me. And God, I pray that each person that hears my voice today will have that same and greater experience with you. That they will know of your love, your acceptance, but that you want to take them further, that you have more for them. It doesn't matter where they are in their journey with you. You always have more. So put your desires in their heart. Give them courage to say, God, I want you, and I'm going for it with all that is within me. I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember today, God's heart longs for you.